Hello guys and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to convert strings to numeric type and uh, how from numeric to strings. Okay, so uh, let's uh, get into Visual Studio and uh, see the example. Okay, so let's create an integer x and um, let's say it's equal to 5 and then we will create a string y. And so we want what we want to do is to convert from integer to string. So we want the y equals, and we can't just say x like that because we just can't. Um, we need to do uh, this following way. So in previous examples we saw how there is a method to convert dot, and this time to convert to string it's a little bit different. We say x dot and then we say um, what do we want to convert to. So this time we say to string. Okay, and then there's open close parentheses and this is it. And then we do also want to see that. So let's say console dot right line and we want to print y in there. Okay, so let's run control F5 and we get 5 indeed and um, obviously we can't tell that it's converted just by looking at it but um, this is right here string y and uh, now that we printed y it got stored in there so obviously it's a string okay so it did get converted now uh, to go the other way it's a little bit different um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna comment this out and let's create two strings string x and let's uh, give it uh, 5 in there and then we make another string y and let's make it a 10 now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another integer z and uh, if we just do x plus y, it's obviously not going to work because these are strings. Um, so we want the the way the C sharp looks at it is just the characters. Um, so what we're going to do is um, if we do, let's see if we're going to do it this way. Convert, and we learned it from another example. Dot to int and this time it's integer 32 and inside if we put x plus y let's say we want to add them this is going to be interesting and obviously we do want to see z in this example uh, z okay um, obviously it's yelling at us already and um, it basically doesn't understand that actually yeah because I misspelled it okay so let's see what it's gonna do so we want to add them and convert to integer and then store them to Z control F5 and it prints it out 510 and I probably understand what happened here is it basically added two strings together 5 right next to 10 and then that number it got stored into Z and this is not what we wanted to do so in this case we want to convert them separately first and uh, the way to do it is we put the X in here and then we want to do is we want to uh, convert um, so we're going to do add and then convert to, uh, to int 32 and then we're gonna do y in here and so what we do is we convert in y to integer we convert in x to integer 32 we add them and then we store them in there and print it out and so we should see 15 let's do control f5 and we do indeed get 15 okay so this is how to convert uh, strings into integer now if we obviously had a 5.4 here for instance um, and guess what would happen obviously we convert into integer and we know that 
basically should strip it out and put it in there but let's run and see we get an error and we crash in our program okay so in this case what happens here um, is it just runs in error because it cannot convert like that what should happen here is this in this case before we convert into integer we need inside here this x has to be a double okay so instead of what we can do is we can actually double convert right away so instead of just saying x in here we can do convert dot to double okay so and then in parentheses we put x and then so we basically what we're doing here is we're converting x to double first and then converting to integer okay so we kind of like nesting the conversion okay and this should work if I didn't do any mistakes control f5 and we do get 15 so it did convert to that and then it added so it dropped the point 4 and converted that okay so this is a simple example and we're actually gonna do um, a lot of this in the future and we will be using this when we uh, taking the input from the user and we when we do um, when we take input uh, from the text files and such things okay so we will get to that soon and I will see you in next tutorial